Okay, we're going to now take you to the next stop where we uh, go on this story. And we're talking about um, the situation involving uh, Mr. Lamont Woods and, the, and how it goes. And this is the, the next location we were at. It, it, we thought it was a police standoff. It later turned out to be he wasn't there at all. But we're going to let you hear and see how all this broke down. And, of course, um, Kimi Nestor is doing the negotiating. Obviously, he didn't know he was speaking to an empty trailer. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So they learned that there was no one in the trail. So, of course, that's when the story continues. And, Bob, um, obviously, if you're a deputy or at that point, um, you know that this, this does not come to an end at this point, right? That's right. Your job's just beginning. Mm -hmm. And, of course, there was 
some initial calls that we received that there was somebody they thought they were looking for in close to an elementary school. They went out there and searched that. Um, and then, of course, the sheriff told us later that they learned that um, the suspect had left in that small green car with the lady with the strawberry blonde hair, the white girl. All right. We don't know if the car was there and left or if the car came and picked him up or if he walked to the car and left. So those questions are still unanswered. All right. When we come back, we're going to take you to an interview with the sheriff of Henry County. Stay with us.